Adding distractions. Start with one distraction and add more as your dog is successful. If your dog is too distracted, like my puppy is in this next clip, go back to easier exercises to help your dog generalize the behavior. As you can see, he's distracted by the toys. He's not pulling me, but this is not really a loose leash walking or being calm on a walk. It's kind of frantic, so I would definitely want to go back a step and set him up for success. Since Twix was too distracted, I went back to exercise one and placed the treats on the ground. Now that I've gone back a step to placing food on the ground, he's much more calm, he's not frantic, looking around, and I can continue teaching him to loose leash walk. Once Twix was having success with exercise 1 around distractions, I went to exercise 2 which is food to the mouth and then started varying my reinforcement. Now he has much better focus around all the distractions. Add distractions slowly. If your dog is not getting it, go back a step or use better rewards. Remember that your dog can have on and off days. Do not get frustrated and hang in there. I personally want my dogs to view distractions as opportunities for rewards and to learn to be calm around distractions. Add a variety of distractions, food, toys, dogs, people, and things. At the end of this DVD, you will be given some challenges to help you proof your dog's loose leash walking skills.
Bloopers starring Twix at nine months. <laughs>